Hey there guys, how's it going? I hope you're all having a great day. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to implement a membership check for a custom class here. Now, a membership check looks something like this. If I just do a quick one using a class, we have a list containing four numbers, one, two, three, four, and I want to know, uh, is free one of these numbers in D? So if I say print free in D, we're asking, is this a member of this here? So is free a member of this list? And then we go ahead and get true, so that's fine. So how do we implement that in our own class here? Well, to figure that out, we need to figure out what actually happens when we use the in keyword. Now, a lot of this is abstracted. That's one of the reasons why Python is such a good readable language. So what happens when we use the in keyword is it uses what's called the contains dunder method behind the scenes. And this method here <clears throat> is one that you won't often see, but if you're building your own class, you'll need to implement this inside your class here if you want the ability to use the in keyword. So let's show it what it looks like at the moment. So contains isn't implemented. So if I was to go ahead and say, um, is red in car B? Let's just see what happens. We get a type error because Python doesn't know how to do this operation. It doesn't know how to say, is this string inside an instance of a car? It doesn't know how to do it. Uh, what you could do, it's a bit more cumbersome, but you could do this. So car B dot colors points to a list. The list class has contains implemented inside of it. So you could do that and that's totally fine. Uh, but in some situations you might just want to be able to say is red in car B and then don't bother having to do dot colors or dot whatever. So uh, let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm going to make some space here and we're going to implement this method really slowly piece by piece. So we're going to start off with def dunder contains. There we go, like that. Now make sure your defs are in line with each other here. If this goes outside, this is now just a function and not a method. So method, if it's inside the class, belongs to the class. And as always, instance methods always take self as the first argument here. So when I do red in car B, car B is passed in as self. We then want something to check. So let's just say uh, it's call for color in this case. So it, you kind of envision this going in. Red is going to go in as call. Car B will go in as self. And let me just quickly try returning true. So no logic as of yet, but I just want to see this error disappear. So bear in mind this, we got this type error when this wasn't here. However, now it's implemented, we get true. So it's not doing anything, it's not really working. So I could do this. We know that isn't in the car class. And um, yeah, it still returns true because we just said, when in is called, just return true. So envision what's happening here. Let's say we have, if I bring this up here for a second, I'm just gonna put that there and comment it out for a minute. And I'll see why in just a second. So we wanna know if this is in car B. So bear in mind, call, that's red car b that's self so we can say call in self dot colors here so we're basically asking is the color that's passed into this is that a member of the colors of whatever car we're talking about in this case car b so we're saying is call in car b's colors so these are car b's colors here so that's kind of like saying this Let's bring this all forward. Red in. That basically translates to this. And we know that we can do, uh, is a string inside a list of strings? Yes, we know that the list class contains the contains method. So in effect, what's happening here is, contains is almost being called twice. We're saying, is this string in car B? And because we've used the word in, we're jumping to here. And then we're saying, uh, return the evaluation of the following. Is this string in this list? So is red in this list of strings? Yes, it is, red is there. So therefore, this should return true. And there we go, just like that. Uh, you could bump it up a bit more if you want. Let's suppose we have, um, let's say I did uh, focus instead. So we get false, of course, because focus is not in this list. What you could do, if you want it to be extra fancy, we could do or uh, call is equal to self.model. 
and we get true. So you haven't got to do this, but this is just a bit of a fallback. So we're basically saying, um, when we say, uh, is something in car B, we're saying, well, it can either be, um, if that thing is one of the colors, or if that thing is equal to the model of the car, then return true. So now we get, uh, let's try white. So this would work because this section returns true. Doesn't matter about this section because we're using an or. Uh, or if you pass in, let's try Astra this time. So this will be false because it's not in car B. Let's try it on car A and we're good to go. And that's it. That's how you implement contains. Again, it's not something you're going to be implementing every single day, but if you're trying to get a bit better at some object orientation, then it's definitely one worth having under your belt. Cheers for watching, guys. If this is helpful, feel free to subscribe. That'd be really useful. And have a great rest of your day. Cheers.